Hundreds of people in Birmingham die prematurely every year because air pollution in the city is so bad. Along with parts of the black country, it's been highlighted as a national hotspot. The city council is now introducing cameras that can scan number plates and identify the worst polluters. The eventual aims to levy a charge on the owners of high polluting vehicles and encourage them to switch to greener models. Our environment correspondent David Gregory Kumar reports. This van drives a regular route around Birmingham and the only thing it's delivering is bad news because in the back is a pollution detection laboratory and it drives round and round and round the exact same route day after day. Isn't that a bit boring? Oh yeah mate, yeah. <laughs> Very monotonous but we got, we've got really good data out of this so it's been worth it. So where are the team from the University of Birmingham finding the worst pollution? In the city centre and also at uh, major junctions they're where you see a lot of high levels because of idling cars and a lot of cars in one area. And pollution in Birmingham kills. Public Health England has estimated in Birmingham we have 500 people die prematurely every year. Understanding pollution is actually quite a complicated thing and that makes finding solutions quite difficult too. But in Birmingham one idea they're trying is to scan the number plates of vehicles in the city and identify the ones that produce the most pollution and then charge them more. They're already scanning the number plates to gather the data, but the charging won't come in till 2020. National Express buses have welcomed the idea, but black cab drivers feel they're being picked on. That's right, we are. Um, we believe that if uh, they're going to apply this, they should apply across the board um, on private hire. Uh, drivers and also private vehicles as well. So why just focus on the big lorries, buses and black cabs? We've been asked to do uh, a Class C zone which is the uh, buses, taxis, HGVs and so on. Uh, pri private cars do contribute to the air quality um, but most of the problems are coming from diesel engines through the heavier vehicles. But if the new pollution charge is a stick, meet the engineering carrot, a council scheme to fit new LPG low emission engines in around 60 taxis. I'm the first person <laughs> whose cab went to the Holland. So how is it to drive? Very nice, quiet, and it's like a car, it's a turbo car, you know. It's outside the cab, but inside the car. These refitted taxes will form just part of the answer to the complex pollution problem in the heart of Birmingham. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minutes Today, Birmingham.